I can see myself mulligating Fire War Axe against Druid. I'm not sure what's right. I guess I'm gonna keep it because of probably Shredder. Oh, it breaks win streaks, and I didn't know about that. Oh wait, wait a minute, I just remembered. He taunted the mech warper one turn. Why didn't he just taunt Alex Straza? Although, yeah, it would have been better for him to taunt Alex Straza, but I still would have won, I believe. I would have left up the mech warper, that means, but I would still armor up. It'd be the same thing. He would have drawn the clockwork number, maybe even got another taunt. That doesn't matter. It still would have won with Brengen. It would have way increased his chances of winning though. Back to work. Because he had to roll another taunt on a spare part. Oh, I see. It makes sense. Because of Execute. Or Big Game Hunter. I don't think he would've got two hits off of Warper. I think that whole thing would've been only one more hit. I don't think there's another turn. I forgot, actually, I'm too too tired. From, from my understanding, I thought he would only get one more hit with the Warper. Maybe I'm wrong, though, about that timing. So I need to decide whether to play Big Game Hunter here. I'll probably armor up instead of playing the Fire War Axe because I don't have anything to do next turn. I think I have to play Big Game Hunter. Strike. The big game here plus the firework axe can deal with a lot of five drops and six drops. Hook another druid claw or sludge belcher. I think I'm gonna definitely shield block, but I think I'm gonna save my four or five armor instead of whatever because it's unlikely that I draw anything else with this last three mana that's better than firework axe. And since I have board control after this turn trading here, I got lucky, but no matter what, I would have five armor left over with him having no board, so it's possible that I it stacks see. up for Shield Slam. Couple different moves here, it's basically Baron Geddon or Dr. Boom. By Baron Geddon, I can save my weapon and, and I don't have to take the five damage, but Dr. Boom is stronger. I'm actually not sure. It actually seems like Geddon is better because there's no way for Druid to deal with a 7-5 unless he spends his whole mana bar or BGH. If he BGH, so I think I'd rather him bait. Yeah, I'm gonna try it. Basically, if he say Swipe Wraths or whatever, Druid Call Wraths, that's still spending his whole mana bar and I can just Dr. Boom next turn and I can bait out those spells. And if he BGHs it, I think I'd rather him BGH it than Dr. Boom. But that might not even be right. 7-7 seven, 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 Wow, that's a weird move. I guess he had to. Twenty-three life, interesting. How about I just play Dr. Boom here instead of Shield Maiden? I'd rather have a seven five than a five three. Puts out two BJ's targets, so I'm not really weak to BJH. Either way, you could have BJH one of them and done that to the other one. Like to shield me.
kind of a weird hand. I can fix anything. Powering up. Portals online. Hmm, this is weird. Okay, so I can play big game hunter here. I mean, this is just bad for me. Big Gamer trades better, but I don't get to draw a card. And also, he still has coins, so he can coin out Goblin Blast Mage. I think I'm still playing Light of Pain. This is going terrible for me, though. Can't stop Mech River, and. Yeah. Can't stop anything. Uh, that kind of saves me. I think it's better to kill the 4-4 than the 2-3, even though it's a mech worker. Something needs tinkering? I mean, my hand is okay going into these, going to the next turns, but I took so much damage and I'm full on pretty far behind the board, so. Baron Met Geddon might actually be good here. Kind of setting up for Roland. I think I'm just dead though. Shieldman would have given me, I guess, three more armor because I got the armor up this way. And I would leave up the mech worker still, so it's the same amount of damage, I guess. I take three more damage this way, so I might die, but I think this sets me up for better for later on. I don't think there's any way I can Baron Geddon next turn. It's impossible. I just take too much damage from Baron Geddon because I can Baron Geddon and then roll him down the goal, and then it'll kill the the damage goal. But I think I'm better off. Just leaving up the 2 1. Whatever he plays, probably Shield Main, Shield Slam, Whirlwind, or something. Okay, so this death spike was put after Golem. I can actually attack the Harvest Golem and it'll kill the 1 1. Yeah, that's right. And then Shield Main, Shield Slam, the. Azure Drake. If he doesn't have a Metcock Master, I'll shrink down as well. That that has to be the best. Hope he doesn't have a mech, but even if it's even if he has a mech, it's the same thing. Because I would take the three damage attacking Cog Master anyways, compared to leaving up a two one golem, so. Basically, I get the whirlwind down the golem for free, so this turn is actually the same amount of damage no matter what, except um, I get to take out an extra guy. Actually, it's not an extra guy, I'm not sure. Pretty good for me. <laughs> I know it's two spare parts. Hopefully, I can hold off. Oh wow! So do I kill the mad scientist? I guess I do. I mean, if I don't kill a mad scientist, he can kill. He can just suicide anyways. The difference is he might top deck the mirror and chief. That's probably bad for him, but that's a small thing. I don't know. I could see myself leaving it up as well, at 20. In fact, I probably should have left it up. I was playing more defensive than I should have because I, I was like feeling very low all game, like dying. I, I didn't wrap my mind around the Alex Drazi yet. 
<laughs> as true as I have um Dr. Boom big game combo on the mirror entity. Or Baron Geddon even. Alright, I'm gonna kill that. Hopefully there's no, no cloaking field. I know there's two spare parts. Okay, that's big. It's just two fireballs. Okay, so fireball, fireball, 12, frostbolt, 15, 17. I think I'm leaving up the damage golem and then just gonna race him. Okay, that's way more than enough. So you can't just fireball me in the face twice, plus hero power, and then go for it. Even if he top decks another fireball, he's dead next turn. So he can do 17 here max with his two fireballs and a frostbolt. It's not like Baron Dan is a really like sleeper card in order. It seems so strong for order. I don't I don't know if this is right, but I think it's okay. I think I actually read somewhere that Baron Gen is the highest win rate card when played. Like a weird statistic. Like if you ever play Baron Baron Gen, you win like 70% of the games. Might just because of the nature of the card though. Oh yeah, yeah, I was at BuzzCon. <laughs> Burnt Gems for war like a really strong word because not in other classes, because Warrior's hero power allows you to like take a lot of damage and play really reactive, I guess. The problem with Burnt Gen is any minion based class like Shaman Paladins, it kills all your own minions. So Warrior's like a special case in the in the in the sense that you don't have any minions to kill or, or like the only minions you have is one big minion at a time usually your small minions you generally don't care like acolyte and armor smith you don't mind getting baron gen anyways i didn't want to play the sun seal ghoul in turn two because if he has fire war axe and acolyte of pain he can draw like cards like that off of my ghoul I think that's moderately annoying. It's making it hard to play a Belcher. I think with two Belchers, I should play one though. Better than doing nothing. Let the pain speak to me. Ah, uh, that might be a disaster. Actually, I can overdraw him, maybe. I'm not sure. And honestly, drawing cards in Warrior is not that great. It goes to fatigue a lot. It's more about as long as I can play really efficiently throughout the game, he might go to fatigue first. Well, I guess I can't overdraw him. I can even draw two cards, so I'll be up to nine and then ten, so that's perfect for him. I'll probably just be saving my Death Spite here. He's drawing three cards anyways if I attack with Death Spite. And I can save it for like a 5-5 five five or, or a Sludge Belcher instead of one fours. I can take the hit.
Alright, well I have more than enough armor to shield slam this. Do I have a better play? Basically attack the armor smith, then shield slam the doctor room. I guess I can shield slam first, attack armor yeah, and then okay, that makes sense. Oh, no, I can't do it. Okay, so that's, that's easy. Get rid of these boom bots though. I think it's worth it to attack a non like a non 5 5 minion here to get rid of boom bots. You also have to pay attention to cards in this matchup. I use my Cruel for Grom combo, it's kind of weird, but the thing is I get in 5 extra damage like this, not 5, I get in, say, 4 extra damage because I could attack him with Slime. I also get to play out of range of Execute. I think that's enough reasons. Hopefully he doesn't Harrison this guy. I'm not weak to really Baron Gen either, just by having a 2-2 out. No Alright, well I'm just gonna proc it, hopefully he doesn't steal my stuff. Actually is he dead? 11, 12, 13, 14. I have no way to activate Grom. If I did, it'd be 26. But I mean, I wouldn't have had I wouldn't have had lethal if I didn't play this. It's, I got in the damage because I played the Cruel Taskmaster. Brace for impact. Brace for impact. Okay, so do I attack with everything, or maybe not attack with a two-two? Actually, I'm gonna attack with everything. Just make it easier for myself. If I didn't attack 2 I can use it to kill a 1 1. I don't think it matters that much. Yeah, shield main changes the shield slam dynamics a lot. Also, I figured we're weird. The reason why I don't mind shield blocking on turn 3 is almost every game turns into no one does anything turn 1 and like for, until turn 5. So you're actually not losing the armor that you shield block with on turn 3. Like this game and the last where we replayed, pretty much people just had 10 armor by turn 5, I think. Something like that. Because everyone just armors up. I have 20 damage. Actually, that's not 20 damage. Because I have, I have too much armor to shield slam on Grom. Kind of a bad turn for me. I don't want to play this ghoul. He can just attack the ghoul and execute this guy or something. Even though the ghoul is kind of cool because it allows me to proc Rom, but there's no way a ghoul is surviving with the fire war axe up, so that's not really a thing. Hopefully, it goes face, I think. Nice. Wait, he's dead. <laughs> Because now he got myself low enough on armor where I can shield slam Grom. 10, 19. Oh, wait, that's 22. Uh, I don't have lethal. Um, okay, yeah, that's better. I can take the hit. I'm saying shield slam over execute because I can proc Grom at shield slam. This is a hard turn. On one hand, I kind of want to save Shield Slam for something. On the other hand, um, it's getting hard to get armor. I guess I'm going to play kind of weird. What? Yeah, let's do this. I'm just going to Shield Slam it down to one. Play the Ghoul and the, uh, these two together. Do I even want to just kill it? I guess it makes sense. 
Because he can use the 5 1 kill the Unstable Ghoul. This way he has to punch the Unstable Ghoul. Let the pain speak to me. I just want to bait out the BGH here, so I can brawl. I think that's pretty decent. Brawl is not good at the end in Warrior Mirror. Oftentimes you have like a super awkward brawl against like one minion. So the question is, do I want to brawl now or kill it then brawl with that spite? I think it's better to brawl now, actually. Because I have the weapon either way to kill it, kill the thing after, it doesn't make sense to brawl uh, to, yeah, I mean I did some calculations, it was basically bad. It's not great to play Dr. Boom here, since he has like a 1-4 here, but... Very soon, I'm not very like I have. The good thing about this game for me is he's gone through more cards than me. I don't even think he can use Harrison anymore if I have a two charge weapon. But the bad thing is that I think he's played more efficiently than me, and uh, there's a risk that I lo I lose the game due to not able to kill all his minions very soon. What now? Okay, so let's go ahead and attack this. Oh, that's the worst. I have to take five extra damage now. I guess that means that I'm gonna get some armor here. I was hoping that I can kill the shield maiden with this whirlwind here and then attack the one, this guy, but I'm still gonna have to do the same. I think it means that I'm dead though. Because Grom just kills me here. How important is this setup with Death Spite here? Um, let's see, I can do 8 damage here, plus 10, 18, 22, 23. He has way too much armor. Maybe I should just go for the Fire War Axe. He hasn't even played Brawl yet. I don't think that's a great thing to play Acolyte. I think that's too much damage, unfortunately, for me. I don't know what to do. I might have to kill it with Grom and try to win like the last minion standing kind of game. I can't take this 8 damage. Grom isn't that great for me anyways anymore. He still has to execute. Unless I finish him off with it. I, I think I have no choice though. Despite would not have really 
done anything different. Because I would still have to punch it. I guess I could tell if I'm getting it this way. Okay, so these are both cruels now. If I can just win this kind of like Solanus thing, it should be good for me. I have no time for games. Grom only does 4 damage now, I believe. I don't know what his last cards are. I'm assuming Grom. Hopefully it's Brawl. Shredder's maybe... Hmm. It's probably Shredder. Interesting. What now? Harrison Jones. Lothab. Hopefully it's some of these cards. Grom, Lothab, Harrison Jones, Brawl, Shredder, something like that. I know he can activate Grom though, that's the good thing. And I play this after Shredder, so he trades both. I steal... Um, I steal it. The other half. He's fatiguing, I think, like one turn earlier than me. Two turns earlier than me? Since he's already fatigued one. This game is definitely not over. <laughs> That's pretty good. I guess he kills it. It doesn't matter, I execute and then we'll see who wins from here. The weird thing is, do I like if I, do I want a crypt despite to for him to not be able to play Harrison? I don't think so because the five four I can't deal with. It'll be a five three after the whirlwind, and then I can't kill Harrison. I think that's more of a problem. Another thing is, what am I supposed to do here? Do I just pass? So right now it's all about efficiency. But if I can stick a two two and start hitting my win, I think it's, it doesn't make sense. I'd make him make the first move because he's gonna lose the fatigue. Okay, so he didn't just open play Harrison. It means that he doesn't have it. Wait, unless he thinks he's gonna win the fatigue. He's not gonna win the fatigue, I'm pretty sure. He's two turns earlier, that sacks up so much. And also, he's n he has no weapons anymore, so I can just burst him with Deathbite after a while. I think I, I'm starting to get to the point where if Harrison's max, I win anyways. But it's better to wait. If I did it right away, I think he would win because I can't kill a Harrison. But now, after like three turns or four turns of fatigue, I think he'll lose if he Harrison's my death spite. Although, there's no reason to play it. Uh, what's the point? I can play it anytime I want. I think I have to start attacking. 